Hello all, it's Dimension, and welcome to my Let's Play of Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is a retro style indie game by Yacht Club Games, and I just want to get right into this. You'll probably get a decent idea about what the game is about and stuff, just from the storyline in the beginning and just watching me play it. And I don't really feel like explaining that much this Let's Play. And also for those not know, I actually have tried doing this Let's Play before, but I cancelled after the first three episodes. It was just stressful trying to pump out an episode of Shovel Knight and Kirby's Nightmare Dreamland a day. So I decided to try this Let's Play a later time, and September is now the time for that. I'll talk more about that later, but for now, plot. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Ah, the good old days. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. And look at all the treasure they stole from homeless people. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a land of, or a life of solitude. Is there a land of solitude out there? I wouldn't want to go there. Without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and eight other douchebags. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Justice in spades! So many shovel puns. So welcome to Shovel Knight. You can jump, you attack things with your shovel, and being a knight of the shovel, obviously you can dig stuff. Such as this dirt pile here. Doing so, the game will award you with gems. We also meet our first enemy, which is these little red beetle things. They sort of just scuttle across the floor until you attack them. You'll notice you can also do a sort of downward swing with your shovel. It's kind of reminiscent of the attack from DuckTales, the pogo attack. Which this game actually does take a lot of inspiration from. If you don't know, Shovel Knight was inspired by a lot of old retro style NES games, such as games from the Mega Man series, DuckTales, Castlevania, and Legend of Zelda 2. So it took a lot of those games, put them all together, and made one awesome game out of it, and I just have so much fun playing this. So we also have these dirt blocks here, which you can break with your shovel. And in a lot of, certain, a lot of situations, you have to do so in order to progress. I just sort of tried to mix the words progress and advance together there, didn't I? Sometimes you have to break them in order to move on. We also just got hit by that little beetle there, not too big of an issue. And this is the checkpoint. You may notice how you can attack it, I believe in later stages you can actually break those things and they'll reward you for doing so with money. But of course if you break a checkpoint you won't be able to respawn there if you die. So hey, if you feel risky, break all the checkpoints. I'm not gonna stop you. We also have those moving platforms that are a pretty simple gimmick overall. And now for a dragon. Most dragons breathe fire. This one breathes bubbles. Your battle strategy against him is pretty simple. Just hop around on his back until it's safe to hit the head, and then swoop down. It only takes 7 hits to kill, so it's a pretty simple mini boss. Catch. And as you can see there, you can also fling certain items into enemies, and doing so will do damage. must have gems. And now for the next major game for the shovel. Destruction! You can break certain walls entirely with a shovel actually. Sometimes they'll contain food, sometimes gems, and sometimes enemies. So break them with caution. Okay, let's see if I can back you up to the wall. And that's one of those secret walls you can get into. Because yes, yeah, sometimes the game likes to hide walls behind those breakable ones. And this was for a song scroll. Song scrolls are certain collectibles in Shovel Knight. And later on you can actually get someone in the village to play them for you. But we'll talk more about that when we actually reach the village. For now we're in the Plains of Passage. Also sometimes those little dirt piles are on the walls. You knock them off, turn them into a boulder, then you attack them. 
We actually have to bounce on this enemy's head if we want to get up there to that red gem, because it's a little bit too high for us to jump to. There we go. I've taken quite a lot of damage, but that's not an issue, because underneath this pan thing here, there's chicken. Chicken is what Shovel Knight uses to restore his health. And you may notice this little indent in the wall right here. In most stages, there's a special block which they put in walls, which usually indicates a breakable wall. That one right there was hiding a pink gem, which is the most valuable kind of gemstone in the game. It's worth about 200 gold, which is quite a lot. In case you haven't figured it out by now, gold is basically this game's money. So we'll be using that to buy stuff. You also may notice I just bounced on a bubble there. The bubbles can't actually attack you, they're basically just there for you to get across bottomless pits. If you just try and jump on them normally, they will attack you and then you'll go flying into the pit. So make sure you do your down downward swing on them. Another hidden wall here, and now for an entire section dedicated to bouncing across bottomless pits on bubbles. Yeah, not exactly the safest activity you could be doing. It's another song scroll though. So if you enjoy collecting stuff in video games, you 100%, go that way. I have no idea what those flying enemies are meant to be. Is it like a mix between a pig and a gremlin? I'm not even gonna ask. Oh, hello there, skeleton. I'd like to take that gem off you. Whoops, I tripped. Yeah, you can actually break that entire wall, which looks kind of ridiculous from down here, but once you climb that ladder, you'll realize there's really no other way to get to the chest that's up here. Knock off luck, and suddenly treasure for days. Most treasure chests usually contain um, those pink gems, but some contain song scrolls. I also really like the music in this game. They did an excellent job with the soundtrack, and it, I have a lot of songs stuck in my head. Specifically, an un underlining problem and also the dance macabre are stuck in my head right now. Interestingly enough, the composer who worked on the Mega Man series actually did some songs in this game. But aside from that, Jake Kaufman did an excellent job with the soundtrack for the game. You just. Okay, yeah, you go down there and have a party. That guy takes care of himself, so no need to risk life and death there. Those pogo stick classes paid off. And these slimes are trying to hide themselves inside of the bushes. And that one actually kind of surprised me, I didn't see it there. Alright, we're almost at the end of the stage. But I want to make one last detour. Bounce on your head to go across here. And oh god, more bubbles. Okay. Two more beetle things. One last checkpoint over here. And now it's time to meet our rival. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time way has dulled your senses, can't you see? The entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. That almost rhymed. And her invincible douchebags. But none of that matters, because the Enchantress has... Anyone going after the Enchantress must go after me. English! Steal thy shovel! And ah, yes, Snape had laughed. The most menacing evil laugh of all time. And now it's time to do battle with Black Knight. Now, I don't know if you noticed there with that little cutscene, but everyone in this game has their own little text sound effect when it's scrolling across the screen. Nice touch to that, actually. Anyway, time to deal with Black Knight. When he's close to you, you can slash you just normally with your shield, or not a shield, you can slash you normally with a shovel. He also has a tendency of doing these downward swipes. He usually does them in succession of three to four times, but you can't knock him out of it early by hitting him in the middle of it. He also likes to fire out that little pulse shock that's represented by a purple blob for some reason. When he stops to laugh, that's a good time to try and get a counter hit on him. 
Pretty sure you can also send the purple energy ball right back at him. I'm actually pretty sure they give you an achievement if you kill him by doing that. Well, that's all there is for Black Knight right now. And his run is ridiculous. Bad skydiving experience? Don't worry, just call Shovel Knight. He'll catch you. So now we have to catch Shield Knight here. It's just a little mini game you play in the morning. Or I guess while you're sleeping. And whoa, this looks trippy. The game background is the exact same as my sidebar background. I can't deal with this. You can actually put out the campfire in the morning. And actually the first time you do it, you get an achievement for it on Steam, which is only you. Only you can prevent forest fires.